talk a little bit about operating systems. <clears throat> I told you there's 2,416 items to open a restaurant. Most of those 2,416 items come with an operating system. Do you know the difference between a restaurant consultant and a restaurant manager? A restaurant manager operates the system that the restaurant consultant created. That's the difference. Doesn't matter if you're an independent or a national chain. A restaurant manager's job is to operate the system. A restaurant district manager for a regional or national chain or, or a regional manager for a regional or national chain, their job is to operate the system. They're traditionally not good at creating the operating system. A consultant's job is to create the system, to literally create how you deal with food cost, how you deal with labor and scheduling, how you deal with making of the menu items, scheduling of the staff, for that matter, hiring and disciplining the staff. Well, so your operating systems are usually in independence almost non-existent. They almost have no operating systems. You don't see anything written down. A lot of times, you know, you'll talk to them. Oh, yeah, I kind of do this and I kind of do that. At which point then I say, okay, so you're basically running off the seat of your pants. There's, yep. The national chain has a pile of operating systems. Now, somewhere between there is what's right. Okay? A lot of times the national chain has a pile of operating systems and they create all these operating systems because they claim that they're trying to stop from getting sued. So they have a system for everything. So if they get sued, then they have a system. But they're not executing on the systems. So they have so many systems they can't keep up with it. A lot like our federal government. An independent has none. Interestingly enough, because they don't know how to create them. And by not having systems, no one can really hold their feet to the fire of what's right and wrong. And there's nobody to follow up to make sure that the job's getting done, interestingly enough. A lot like our federal government. Somewhere in between there is perfectly right. Have enough systems so you know what you're supposed to do, but not too many so you can't keep up with them. Well, I don't know how to create operating systems. Real easy. Write them down. It's literally, I'm going to create a menu item. It's just like creating a recipe, except you're doing it for every piece of the business. And you're literally creating the recipe. Now, the recipe might be Parmesan chicken. The recipe might also be employee schedule paying the bills, opening checklist, closing checklist. It's not that difficult. We have people calling us pretty regular basis wanting us to create the operating systems for them. We do. We charge them a good bit for it. It's time consuming. When in reality, they could just easily create them themselves. Do you know why they don't want to create them themselves? They're afraid they'll do something wrong. There is no right or wrong. Just write down the steps, and it doesn't have to be perfect the first time. I would bet if you looked at our punch list of 2,416 items five years ago, I don't know, we were probably at 1,800. Who knows? Five years before that, we might have been at 1,400. Five years from now, we might be at 28, 2,900. I don't know. It's a moving document. It's constantly moving. Don't worry about it. Well, with operating systems, I think you have to spend the time at the pursuit phase creating the operating systems. You won't have the time after you go to open. You'll be running 100 miles an hour with your hair on fire. You won't have the time. <laughs>